If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's usually a duck. That's the perception surrounding Marcus Morris after his flagrant two foul on Luka Doncic in Game 6 of the Clippers' first round series against the Mavs. And you know what? They're exactly right. Morris is perceived by many as a dirty player. And while we can sit here and argue about the context and definition of the term until the end of time, understand that it is not necessarily a bad thing. Every NBA dynasty has had an enforcer or individual who assumed the burden of doing the dirty work for the team. These players have been essential in allowing superstars to do their thing while not having to worry about fighting in the trenches of playoff basketball. Examples of these guys include Kevin McHale with the 80s Celtics, Bill Lambeer of the notorious Detroit Pistons bad boys, Dennis Rodman, the worm of the 90s Bulls, Bruce Bowen, the henchman of Popovich's Spurs, and most recently, the oil to the engine of the death lineup warriors, Draymond Green. The precedent of this existence doesn't make it right, but it's not even an opinion, just a fact that you don't win multiple titles without someone like this. Now, has the game outgrown this style of play? You could certainly argue yes, as games are drastically more tightly officiated to prevent actions such as Morse's, and so much as looking at a referee can get you ejected. But here's the thing. What Morris did, it worked, as it always has. Despite one of their key players being ejected, the Clippers flipped the score from being down five to up 22 in a quarter and a half. This is the way they want you to play. They want you to fix bayonets and have you get into the foxhole with them. But the Mavericks chose not to, and that's why they're going home. While the rulebook states what Morris did was an illegal act, there is nothing in said rulebook preventing Dallas from retaliating. Hell, it's even an unwritten rule in most basketball games that the Clippers should have to accept an equal act of revenge in return. If Marcus Morris wants to keep targeting Luka Doncic, put Kawhi in the ground. Knock Paul George into the third row. That's basketball. And I promise you, the players, especially a team with Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, Marcus Morris, and Montrez Harrell on it, is not going to complain. The game is not outgrown dirty play, nor will it ever. If you prefer defenders holding hands with the opposition and singing Kumbaya as uncontested jumpers are shot for 48 straight minutes, call me a boomer. I don't care, nor do the championship contenders. That's why the Clippers are not only going to keep playing this way headed into round two, they're probably going to turn up the volume of this style because they realize how much of an effect it has on the public and most importantly, the opposition. It forces teams to play their way. In the end, actions speak louder than words. And while the world sits around and cries about Marcus Morris, it's the Clippers taking the action needed to reach basketball's most promised land.